Insurance companies are on a tear. Hello, I'm Kyle Rotter, and in this week's Investor Spotlight, we take a deep dive into the insurance industry and discover how insurance providers and brokers are experiencing multiple earnings tailwinds. And of course, to run through the space, Danny Akuye from Ausbiz joins me. Danny, uh, great to see you, of course. Um, insurers today, uh, risky business hits the sweet spot. Indeed, these companies really have uh, been, as you say, on a tear over the course of the last few months and quite notably outperforming other financials like the banking sector. And this is uh, largely due to, which we're probably going to come to in terms of the sweet spot where after years and years of having headwinds in terms of structural headwinds against the earnings for these companies in terms of low interest rates and what uh, are very catastrophic weather events, wet weather events, La Nina, the tide seems to be turning. And uh, as a result, we've had some really sterling share price performances out of these stocks, the likes of QBE and IAG up over 30% over the last year. And AUB, the insurance broker, has also done incredibly well. I think it's up about 58% over the last year. So for companies that were really in the doldrums for many, many years, and lots of people didn't want to hold them, well, the tide is turning. It certainly is. So let's talk about some of those tailwinds that are benefiting some of these insurers. I mean, is it simply just an interest rate story? What else is going on? Yeah, so interest rates have a material impact because these companies uh, receive the claims monies um, and then they have to reinvest them. And it's obviously a lot easier to get a return on your money if you're not dealing with zero to negative interest rates. I mean, that really caused a lot of problems for insurance that had to move out the risk curve. Most importantly, is some really interesting research done by Morgan Stanley, which basically says when it comes to catastrophic weather events, La Nina, the wet weather systems, which obviously we've had massive, massive floods here in Australia, but also in the Northern Hemisphere, they have a more or impactful effect in terms of disaster losses for these companies. And a couple of examples I cited was the cyclone and the flood um, that hit New Zealand and Auckland. And those two events were the two most impactful insurance loss events for the companies. Second and third, about um, New Zealand 1.5 billion each, which is absolutely massive. Now, as we move to an El Nino, whilst it's obviously horrible for wildfires and things like that, in terms of insurance losses, historically it hasn't had the same impact. So the brokers are advocating not only a higher interest rates, but also the weather is changing, La Nina to El Nino, but most importantly, they've been able to put through very hefty price increases, which is not great for us, the consumer, but we don't have a choice. We have to have home insurance, we have to have motor vehicle insurance, and those premium price rises are anywhere from 15 to 25%. So they're seeing um, a backdrop, a macro backdrop that's more positive, as well as margin expansion, which really is giving the companies a good earnings kicker. Let's talk about some of those companies now. Which companies are in the driver's seat to sort of benefit from this trend? Basically, the brokers really like all of them. Um, so IAG has been a really strong performer, so a few of them are pulling back from IAG. They love QBE. QBE is a US earnings story and a US dollar story. Um, and Suncorp is really interesting because Suncorp is in the process of selling the bank to ANZ, which basically they are waiting a triple C approval on this. And that share price has lagged quite a bit. So there is potential, quite a lot of upside should the ACCC give the go ahead for the sale of that. When it comes to the insurance brokers, um, the two big ones, AUB, they're typically been growing their model through acquisitions. Then there is Steadfast, which is another very good company, a major insurance broker. And then there is PSC Insurance, which is a smaller one. Um, I think that the brokers generally speaking, find uh, most of these companies 
attractive. It comes down to semantics in terms of which ones are cheaper and which ones are yielding a high yield. But gee, the yields on some of these are very, very, um, well, I suppose, you know, attractive, anywhere between 4 and 7%. Certainly seeing a number of tailwinds in some of those companies there, of course, you can uh, find on your IG platform. But uh, Danny, really appreciate the insights as always. Danny Akia from AusBiz, thank you so much. Okay, well, that's it for this edition of Investor Spotlight. Tune in next week, we will put another investment theme under the spotlight.